Hello. So to begin, um, the way I usually blend is actually very simple. There's nothing much complicated to it. I have at least two brushes that I use. I use this brush. It has this effect. So it has that nice tapered end. It makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier to blend and give that nice like painterly effect. Let me put my opacity up. There, that's better. Usually I put my opacity down to about 89. That's it. And see, transfer is on. Put another brush here. Number 25, and this one is about the same, has the same tapered look. Okay. So, to blend two colors, it's pretty much the same way you'd blend paint. I'm going to take a nice red. I'm going to use my regular brush, just my painter brush. I like my painter brush. And I'm going to take... Hmm, maybe... Hmm, not a green. Can you make it now? Get blue. Get a nice purple. So we do red and blue. Then we take it. And start blending this way and that way to that red color. And then in between. And you pick a color, drag it over, pick a color, blend it, pick a color. Opacity is still about 89%. I didn't change it. Pick a color, blend it, pick a color back, blend it, blend it, blend it until you're satisfied with it. And there we go. That's the color I got now. If I was to apply it to this, um, let's make me blue. What's this one? Let's try this one. Let me get me crap. And I'm gonna do this not the layer. So now if I was to do it with this one I said before I don't normally put my regular bleh. I don't normally put um, the opacity down until I'm satisfied with the color blocking the color and that color in there I'm trying to make it a little darker so yeah that's better I'm not trying to make it look like a freaking sphere. Get that? I'm just trying to make it blend. Which is the whole point. I'm going to brush it a little bit. It's easier to see what I'm doing. And bring it around. Blend. Same way as you would paint, you paint in one direction. Let me show that a second. Bring more red in there. Kind of looks like fire, nice. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Pick a color, stroke, pick a color, stroke, pick a color, stroke, pick a color, 
stroke. It's pretty simple. It's not rocket science. It's just the way that you blend it. If you want a smooth blend, you blend it to like you see no like streaks. I like the painterly feel, so I usually leave a few streaks in there. And I try not to blend too much because if you blend too much, you might make it look like digital and fake, which you don't want. Trust me, it's very upsetting and very annoying. Very annoying to look at when it's not like it's too blended. It looks too perfect, and it's not very pleasant to look at. Give it the space to exist. That's one thing I learned. Give you space to exist in uh, impromptu, impromptu indeed. So now I'm probably going to change the color. Eh, whatever. So that's one way of doing it. Um, they also have a different way of doing it too. They call it, um, like, eh, dark stuff. Then they call it, like, soft shading. But I hate that. It's, like, super soft. Like pretty much the same way, except I think this is harder to blend the smooth shading. I don't know. I don't like it. Don't like how it looks either. It looks kind of like fake to me. I don't know. I don't like it. I think one reason I don't like it is because it's harder to blend the colors together and it's like that it just looks like a marble, like a really like phased out marble. Alright. Next. This brush is my other painterly brush. Yay! Yay! Let's blend this together with this. Now this brush has a very smooth like taper to it. Really nice to blend with. I usually use the bring the opacity down lower on this brush because it tends to be a little strong. So I usually use it for details because it's so strong. And I don't usually use it for blocking in color because it's too as I said, strong and heavy handed. What do I want to do to it? Why is my brush showing?
Oh. Sorry. How's my sister laughing? She's watching an anime currently and I think she's having a really good time. <laughs> so. Okay. She likes this blend. It's a nice color. Oh, it's pretty. It's so nice. Da -da. Okay. So that's kind of how I blend. Same way, same concept. Take two different colors. And just start blending them using your color picker. I never use the smudge tool because the smudge tool isn't bad, but it does not give that painterly feel. It doesn't give you that stroke. At least it does, but it, it has a a fake look to it that I just I can't. I just don't like. I'm sorry. I don't want to add another color. I, I really like this. This blend. This makes nice. Let me see if I can add another color. I can add an orange or something to it. Because I think it looks really nice with an orange. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. It's like a chocolate sundae, only better. Yeah. That's like, like bones, like secondary light source, I guess. It could be. Sometimes I bring on that. This hardness to make the blend more smooth. But it's only with this brush. I don't do it with the other brush. The other brush I never do it with. It's just this brush. Because this brush is a little bit harder to control. Or you get. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, nice. I prefer to be way with before. So I'm going to take it off. Looks cloudy. I like it. Okay, so let's just do the one more. Use an orange color this time with the um just make it orange color. Should I know? Let's make it purple. Because why the hell not? Oh, wait, I'm using the wrong brush. My bad! <laughs> this brush. Hey, my painterly brush! Pick color, paint, drop it on. That's maybe all I do. I'm gonna draw this color and drop it in there to make this darker. And one of the cool things I find is when it comes to like these bright colors, like orange or red, when you put a gray on it, let me put this this gray on it, or this one at least. No, this one's better. Sometimes it makes it look blue, especially when you join faces, it makes it look blue. For some reason, I don't know. Don't ask me how or why, but it does. In this case, it makes it look a little bit like a like a yellow, which wasn't what I was going for. So let's go back to this. Okay. 
So there we go. This is how we blend. Um, that's how we blend. So I hope that was helpful. Let me pick a color. And yeah.